Hello everyone in this video, let us learn how to customize the customer portal on uh, Jira service desk. So today let us learn how to uh, customize uh, the uh, portal, the customer portal that uh, comes with the Jira service desk. If you uh, look at uh, the uh, customer portal here, you of course have the option to uh, select uh, different request types. You can do a search if your Jira service desk is connected to Confluence. Uh, your customers can also view the articles and they can self-serve themselves. So customer portal is really important because uh, it is uh, uh, your front face, uh, especially the front face of your uh, service desk. But Apart from the default options that you have when it comes to the appearance, you can actually do some customizations to it. So right now we are looking at the customer portal and this customer portal is uh, something that uh, uh, is tied to one of the project in our Jira service desk. But there is also something called as uh, help center. So if you click on help center, you will be taken to this uh, interface which is of course nothing but customer portal but uh, on your help center uh, i mean if you go to the help center you will be able to take a look at all the service desk portals that you have access to as a customer so if i'm a customer coming to the portal and if i go to the help center i can take a look at different uh, service desk uh, links so these links are of course uh, displayed here on the left hand side and uh, uh, the, the most recent uh, request types of those service desk projects will be listed here. Now you can do some customization on the help center as well. And uh, it is something that you can do if you have the Jira admin rights. So on top there is a button called customize and uh, this is only available for uh, your customers or oh, not really customers but administrators. But when you uh, click on the button you have the option to maybe add some announcement uh, like uh, we are or maybe performance issues we are aware of the performance issues and uh, you can also have some announcement for the login page so before your customers can reach the help center or uh, a, a portal for a customer for a service test project they need to log in or they need to sign up first so you can have a similar announcement for login announcement then you have the option to change the help center name to something else uh, you can have like front page title welcome to help center or welcome to help center of uh, organization a b c d whatever you can also have uh, a customized logo or maybe a banner image uh, but for this video, let us learn how we can change. Uh, let us just change the background. So maybe I want something a bit pink. Uh, why not? And the moment you change the color, you can see here that uh, your changes are reflected. And uh, when you go to now your one of uh, when you now go to your one of uh, to one of your uh, portal, which is of course uh, a map to your project. Uh, which is in this case called uh, service desk it could be anything uh, you can see that uh, the changes are now visible of course uh, on the project level portal as well but these are the things that we can do of course from uh, uh, the portal but you you can also do some changes when you go to the project settings of your jira service desk so if you go to the project settings of your uh, jira service desk and uh, right now of course i'm logged in as a administrator so i can uh, do a lot of uh, i mean i can do a lot of damage uh -huh, but i won't do any damage i'll just uh, modify things that i need to modify and uh, today we are just taking a look at uh, things that you can modify on the portal so there is a link here on the left hand side called uh, portal settings and if you click on this link you can also do more changes so the name here service desk is uh, uh, borrowed from your project but you can change it to um, your 
let me just try to change it again if i click on the edit button your service uh, desk uh, you can also have some introduction text this i need to click on the uh, edit this is uh, your service desk feel free to get in touch with us you know a nice message for your customers you can also have uh, a custom logo for your customer portal so this is something that you can do if you uh, think you need a separate logo you can have uh, uh, some announcement so view and if you click on this link you can uh, change the announcement let us let us do it so if you click on it you are actually taken back uh, uh, to the same announcement like uh, um, i mean this interface looks similar to what we did earlier but that was for the help center this is for the customer portal uh, for a specific project which is your service desk so service desk announcement uh this is spec this is a specific announcement for this project only so you can have uh, the announcements that uh, can be displayed now if you go to the help center you have uh, the sim you have a similar an announcement which is of course for the whole help center but you also have uh, the the announcement for your service desk so this is something that you can do if you click on uh, of course the link that uh, is there in your project settings and uh, we also have some other other options like can agents add announcements to this portal so yes if you want your agents to add announcements to the portal you can select this option or you can uh, select no only jira or project administrators can add announcements to this uh, to this portal so it is really up to you how you want to manage it uh, there is also something like agents are not allowed to change the help center announcements you can change this setting on the service jira service desk configuration page so we have two type of two types of announcements one is for the the project so hey you can see that you have more options to uh, give permission authority to your agents so can agents add announcements to the help center no or yes it is really up to you and we also have some other options like public sign up organization management that we will of course take a look at in a separate video so this is all i wanted to share in this video and i hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today um thank you very much